All right, what if I told you that Vietnam now has, according to them, the world's first 24 karat gold plated hotel exterior and interior? Damn. That's Whoa. sick. What the fuck? Is this like how Iceland had the ice hotel? Whoa! Ooh. That's more Dubai than Dubai! That's so shiny. Actually, they mentioned Dubai in the headline. Oh. Damn, it looks like the Willy Wonka elevator, but like, I would big. Steal. Stuff. Yeah, I would imagine like people on the shoes still just like yeah. Yeah. Yeah, get dude. some gold off and then walk like, away How are they going to protect all this gold? Because it's exterior and this interior. This is so Dubai. But it's in Vietnam. Yeah. Well, it's very Dubai. You got money like that there? And watch, the inside is trash, dude. No, it's all like gold, too. <laughs> no, I mean all the furniture and oh, shit. Oh, no, it's like this. How do you what? Yeah, it's like gold. Real gold or is it just She like said 24 karat. Yeah. The but is, is that the name thing. of the Plated color or something? Is yeah. that the name of the color? It's like Trump oh, White you know, House shit. What, what if they got a paint that's called 24 karat gold? Oh, damn. Mm. So how much is it to stay there at night? Oh, do you really want to know? How yes. do you prevent the construction workers from not stealing the bricks? They're saying it's a st six star hotel. What the? I didn't even know they could uh, do so six. Dubai has six star hotels. Really? What? Do they have a seven one? Or no, it's just six? Maybe. It's only gold? Bro, if an all gold hotel is only six, then I don't want to know what a seven is. That's so sad. Diamonds. There's a seven one? No, no. I, there was oh. seven. I, I think it goes to diamonds after. Too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He just said it. It's or what if they have like a clear coating over it? Damn, speak up, dude. It should go to Talking platform. to Tiff. Me and Tiff are having a conversation. <laughs> Why are you butting in? <laughs> but yeah, so this is in Hanoi. And mm. you guys have heard, right? Like, yeah. Oh, I have heard from Joe that Vietnam is extremely affordable. Like, everything's really, yeah. really, really cheap. And they're on the up and up, like crazy, exponentially. Mm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so. Oh, I thought you were laughing at Vietnam for a second. Oh, no, no. no. It's <laughs> insider. Inside joke. Oh. Yeah. Anyway. What's the inside joke? Don't worry about no! it. No! Don't worry about <laughs> it. The audience, no. We're not going to get into Don't that. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. We'll talk about it. <laughs> okay. Anyway. So. Uh, they are saying that uh, to stay there, it will be at least two hundred and fifty dollars per night. Oh, that's not bad. That's yeah. cheap as fuck for for gold, Vietnam for a gold ass hotel. There's Dude, also there's comfort ends more fucking expensive <laughs> in America, bro. True. There's also uh, so this is a hotel slash apartment building, oh. but people aren't able to buy the like to actually own the apartments they're only they can only rent okay. and so they're saying that it's a 25 floor building and they will be selling these apartments at about six thousand five hundred dollars per square meter i think they fucked up if it's 24 karat it should be 24 wait floors. so they're selling them or not True. 24 everything oh. that's next level no so to rent to rent yeah so it'd be like six thousand five hundred dollars per square meter to rent what the fuck that's a crazy amount of money yeah, so I'm like, how's it? I, I just Are you sure just... not for just a month? I don't know. <laughs> it just, that's all the info I got. Should be our next writer's retreat, Vietnam, yeah. Gold yeah. Hotel. Yeah. I'm down. Yeah, it's Golden called, Ideas. It's called the Hanoi Golden Lake Hotel. <laughs> and it's it's open now? I'm actually down. Um, 250 a night? Yeah, that's that's crazy. Quiet. That's insane. I know. Or we could just go to Vegas. Uh, lesser flight for free. Yeah, Don't you guys get tired of the same thing? No. I'm tired. There's so much to do in Vegas. There's a ton to do. Yeah, but well, that's like, like saying you can say that about everything. You get tired of your wife. You get tired of your husband. Yeah, dude. Don't you think? I mean, I'm new. I'm due for a new model pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. The lease so. is up, dude. I'm good with the old model. <laughs> the really old one. Real. <laughs> A lot of character, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Charm. Been to Vietnam? No. 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 Nobody I just really joked? Nikki has. She told me it was haunted as fuck. Haunted? Yeah. What does that mean? No thanks. Haunted as fuck. Oh, maybe where she was staying. Because of the war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But because of the war, all the locals are like, yo, this place is fucking haunted too. They, they, everyone knows. Oh. Like the whole country. I believe it, yeah. I will pass that. Have you guys been to Germany? How does she feel about that? I've been to Germany. It's fucking crazy. Is it haunted and that's too? my feeling. I'm not even talking about Nikki. It felt heavy as fuck. Just being there. Just walking around there. It does and feel it does feel kind of eerie and heavy. I Just like the whole country itself? I was in Berlin. I don't know about the rest of the country. I was in Berlin. And oh. it was fucking heavy, bro. Straight I was in up. Munich and it felt heavy. But I don't know. If it's fucking heavy. But people out there just drinking beers, having yeah, fun. Yeah, you eating the schnitzel and you were like feeling heavy? You ever walked through a place where you've looked at a history book and you're like, this it's feels heavy fucking and, uh, clear. Alcatraz. Yeah, but yeah. that's Berlin, right? So you look yeah. at the World War II shit, you're like, oh my God, this is literally the place. Where the Nazis mm. walked and shit. Okay. The Nazis were fucking nuts, dude. Nazis. Do you believe in spirits, Tim? Yeah. I do too. Fuck it. Have you encountered any? 
No, not not like a direct, nothing where I'd be like, oh, I just had a thing with a spirit. I do remember, and this is like a faint memory because I was so young in Thailand. My parents, we were in a van with their friends. We were driving somewhere, it was late at night, okay? And apparently this area was kind of haunted. And then all of a sudden, I think my dad's friend's wife who was driving, like freaked out and like pulled over. And she was like shaken and she was like, I saw a group of people in the middle of the street and when they pulled over there was nobody there. Yeah. But she was like shook, you know? Oh my god, one of the scariest YouTube videos I remember watching, this is like back in, I remember I had just gotten pregnant, so it was like 2007. And so YouTube was new back then too, anyway. So I remember watching this really fucking scary video of these group of people, they're inside of a car, and it's nighttime, they're on this lonely road, and then up ahead they see this woman, and so they pull over and they're like, hey, do you need help or whatever? And this woman just looked weird, like a fucking ghost. And then so she, they end up getting her in the car, and then they were like, like, where do you need to go? Like, do you want us to take you to a hospital or whatever? And then the girl ends up saying something like, oh yeah, my car is just up ahead. And so they end up driving, and then she ends up saying, like, right before they, they hit this particular area, she ends up saying, like, this is where I died. And then, like, the whole freaking video gets all, like... Oh, God. Yeah, the video gets Sorry. all, like, like staticky and they, shit. They have that in, uh, like, in the Bay Area. There's, like, a road that we don't go down because of that. <laughs> Wait, I, I was just thinking how, how shitty it is for someone who's like, Oh, cool, a video about a gold hotel. And now they're like... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was ghost stories. Right, go on. <laughs> Just kidding me. So I don't know if it's like similar to that, where it's basically uh, what they say, and this is like what multiple people hear from other people, and like everyone knows. I think it's like Mission Road, and it's like in the hills or something. But it's a, uh, there's like always like a girl walking down the road, and like they're like, don't stop, don't pick her up. Uh, always a girl in like a wedding dress, right? And this is the same thing. Like oh, I just oh, like my God. car's down there, Scary. and they're talking about how like she's dead. Wow. Yeah, this girl in this video was wearing a white dress, I think. Oh, yeah, it could be that. Uh. No, but they weren't speaking English. I think uh. it was like a Spanish language. Or maybe there's just like some story that everyone tells them. Maybe. Oh, Straight up, I get fucked with all the time as I sleep and it... Sleep paralysis? Yeah, sleep, sleep paralysis, mm -hmm. thank I hate you. that shit. And I've talked about this a bunch and I'm, I'm happy to talk about it because I'm sick of all the bullshit. Mm. Like, it sucks, I've dealt with it my whole life. And uh, yeah, every couple nights, including three nights ago, Three nights ago, I was asleep, and then I heard a fucking loud, well, okay, it always starts off with this thing, right? So I do this thing sometimes um, where I can make myself feel really good energetically wise mm -hmm. well, um, by just like almost like meditating in, in, a, in a place, uh, Tiff knows. When you, when you realize you're, you're, in a, you're trapped? In no, 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 as, as, as me right now. Oh, I can, okay. I can uh, coming into JK News, I always do a thing where, or anytime I'm about to be on camera, I do a thing where um, it's like a ritual for me, where mm -hmm. I, I come in with a lot of energy. And so I feel like people who are around me, they feel my energy when I come in the room. But the other night, sometimes I do it while I'm sleeping. And, when, and that's when it's scary. Because I do it so much during my regular life, like almost like my meditation process, that when I'm sleeping, I do it too. And when I'm sleeping, that's when it's scary as fuck because I think that there, there's bad things around us sometimes and they know when I'm doing this when I'm sleeping. And I'm not even doing it purposely. I think that I'm awake during this. And unfortunately, there's some crossover. And so then these fuckers are like hanging over my bed mm -hmm. and they're trying to get inside my body while I'm like Dude, under. That's how I feel, mm -hmm. especially like when I'm having sleep paralysis. Like, I don't like the feeling. Like, I get the feeling every single time without a doubt, like them just crawling up on me. Exactly. Ooh. And then, like, and then, like, I get chills in my back. Chills. And I'm just like, and ah! the chills explode 80 times yeah. sometimes. And 80 then, times. And then it rushes wow. to your head, right? And then yeah. all of a sudden, you hear that like a sound just gets louder and goes like, <sighs> Yes. What? Yes. I mean, the thing just yes. Yes. Here. And then, I fucking yes. hate that shit. She's right. And then sometimes they say, "Let me in." That happens to me too. You guys get this regularly? Oh. All the time since I was a kid. That's I fucking crazy. I guess that, that's sleep paralysis for me, and I fucking hate that. You still shit. get that? Like so every how does year? this happen? We both have stupid dreams that we're, we're not even talking to each other about it. Yeah. How does the same for dream me, happen? For me, the the whispering crazy. would happen to me when I was wide awake trying to go to sleep. Like I wasn't asleep yet, but I used to always hear whispers. Of like being like, wow. yeah, and it's Why? like you're like, yo, wow. that can't like, cause sometimes you're just like, say That's it's so quiet, crazy. your thoughts get loud, but you're like, that wasn't a thought. No, they're literally saying yeah. my name. So you get sleep paralysis too? I get sleep paralysis. Not the the feeling. All I get is like, I'm awake. I know I'm awake. I cannot move, right? Yeah. And I literally have to like 
throw my body and like do everything I try, try and I'm like to break out of a it. A big one and then I get out of it. Wow. Yeah, but you know what sucks though is that like I know that that's the key, right? To move and then break out of it. But like I'm in it so often that my mind tricks me and be like, you are moving, you are moving, right? And it's like, why aren't you awake? You don't have mind body eyes connection. Open. Can you huh? see yourself and you're not moving or your eyes open? Yeah, yeah. like sometimes your eyes are just like slightly open and you're just like, move, damn it, fucking move. And by the way, sometimes it's bullshit because sometimes I have a dream that I'm having sleep paralysis and that's a bullshit dream. Yeah. And then sometimes I'm having sleep paralysis and it's real. There's a fucking differentiation between the two. Well, I hate those dreams where you're dreaming and you wake up in your dream. Dream, oh, and then you're that. still in a <laughs> fucking nightmare. And it won't I did it two nights ago because I fall asleep in my computer chair all the time, and I like, heard I was in my computer like, sitting up, and I'm listening to some shit, and then I remember a loud bang, the loudest bang you ever heard in your fucking life, over my head, and then I'm like, oh fuck. This is really bad, and then all the chills come over my whole body, like the spider mm -hmm. uh, chills. And like then the whispers, and whispers. it gets louder. Yes, and yeah. then. I woke up, but I didn't wake up, and it was a dream about me having a dream about sleep paralysis. Oh my god. So okay. that was fucked up, so but it wasn't sleep paralysis. That's like Inception, like how do you even know what's <laughs> real anymore? But there is a difference, you could feel it, because when you wake up, you're like, oh my god, I was just over my body, I'm right. in the exact same spot. Like this time, I, I wasn't in my computer chair, I was in my bed already, so I knew it was different. Do you ever get the sleep paralysis where you just can't move at all, and then all of a sudden like your dick just starts getting really hard? It starts growing and growing, you can't even move or anything. How do you know like, your dick is growing? Because you could feel it and it's like pressing against the sheet. And you feel the, the presence yeah. sucking on your, in your, yeah. your dick. Mm. I feel William Howard Taft sucking my dick off. <laughs> yeah. No, so I've heard from a couple people that when they get sleep paralysis and they feel a presence on them, to, to cuss and then it'll make it go away. For real? Yeah, okay, so so um, I had Megan Batoon on the podcast one, podcast one time. She gets that shit too? And she was saying she felt a presence and like like pressing her down. I'm not gonna and, go to her slumber parties like, anymore. And she was like, what the fuck? And then it went away. And then so Nikki Blades chimes in and she's like, oh, in Hawaii they call that the pressing ghost. And it's like a presence that will like, will be in your bedroom or whatever and it'll put pressure on you, but the way to make him go away is to like, cuss at him. Oh. And that's like a thing. In, in Mexico, they call it like when the ghost jumps on top of your body. Mm. Yeah. And like every culture has one. Interesting. Yeah. How's my, that possible? My, my friend from high school, um, her mom um, felt like somebody was like grabbing her arm while she was sleeping and in it was bed. Was icy? Huh? Cold? Was it cold? No, no, no. It was, just, it was just like someone was just grabbing her like really, really hard, right? And like it was hurting. And then she also felt like somebody like just pressing on her, like sitting on her, right? And so like she felt like it was really hard to breathe. And so when yeah. she woke up, she saw her husband in the room. He was like, hey, did you, did you grab my arm? Were you trying to like wake me up? And he was like, no. And then so she looked at her arm and like, you know, like she wasn't even holding on to it, but she saw marks on her arms. And I was like, what the fuck? So that's not me. My sister felt the same thing. And then she said it was a cold feeling when she felt it. Dude, the whole the movie, thing. The Exorcism of Emily Rose, like that was like based on a true story. Yeah. They say it's uh, the scientific thing <laughs> is. Um, we just don't want to stop talking about this. Is uh, that your body, uh, your mind wakes up, but your body hasn't, so. So your body's still in that state of being asleep where it shuts that's down. That's why your body is, like, there's no mind-body connection yeah. anymore, it's severed, so then that's why your body's fruit. Why do I still have a boner fruit? then? <laughs> no, you can still get a boner. Oh. Boners are just genetic.